Well, I think it is likely to come next week. I think it would be a real shock if the Fed didn't cut rates now, given how much signalling they've given. But it's also pretty well expected by the markets. I think the interesting point for the currency markets now is what will the other central banks do? So let's say the ECB today, they decide to go ahead and ease policy. So that should lower the euro further. Then if the Fed were to come out next week and to cut rates as well, net-net, you still expect the dollar to stay supported in an environment where the yield and uh, Treasury Secretary talked about the real yield, or you could look at the nominal yield, but both are still supporting the dollar for now. I think to get the dollar weaker, you probably need to see President Trump trying to act on his views about a weak dollar being preferable. So that would actually entail now direct intervention in the market. Is that likely, given you know how much he's criticised other countries for that? Well, the president has uh, the ability to intervene in the markets by uh, instructing the Treasury Secretary. So he doesn't need any congressional approval. So it's a bit like tariff policy mm. that falls yeah. under the White House. Mm. And he does seem to be getting more and more impatient mm. about the currency. And because interest rates are high in the US compared to all the other major economies, the dollar's not weakening. As you said, you know, the dollar index has been very flat at pretty high levels this year. So the longer it stays strong, the more that prospect will rise that actually the White House decides, OK, let's so go down right. that route. Yeah. But can you use that lever, especially if the market momentum is so strong for the dollar, given all the factors that you sure. highlighted with, uh, with uh, the yield advantage? Uh, how effective would that lever be, and can he use it? Well, first, he can definitely use it. He could instruct the Treasury. I don't think the Treasury Secretary would uh, try and stop that. And the second issue is if the Fed is cutting rates at the same time, then that actually helps your intervention policy. If the Fed were hiking rates, and then the f uh, US government were trying to weaken the currency, it would be very ineffective. Mm. If the Fed is cutting rates, and at the same time, you have the White House uh, instructing the Treasury that we have to sell dollars. That would then send a very strong signal to the currency markets. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.